morning. This is Sandy Flynn from the West Boylston Council on Aging and the West Boylston Public Access Department. I'm here at the West Boylston Junior Senior High School with David Lussart, our assistant principal, and our intergenerational greeters, Karen and Hampton. Dave, I think we'll go to you first. Sure. Um, we'd like to know what made you decide to um, start this program here at the high school and um, how do you feel it's going? Great. Well, first of all, thank you for coming and, and, and talking to us about this great program. I think we've got a good foundation started this year and we hope to build off it for next year and invite more people to come and to be greeters. Um, the, the initial idea uh, of, of this came from other places that I've seen at work. Um, I've been in other schools where uh, members of the uh, elders and, and seniors from the outside have come in to be part of the school community. Um, it's a great idea to, to open up the school and not just not see the school as a, a place for, for, for students, but also members of the other community. When I went to Le uh, went to Lisa, our, uh, the director of our of our Council on Aging, she was very receptive to the idea. And that's when we started putting it together and designing it. And we were able to get a grant to help support the development of it. How, how receptive do you think that the kids are to um, this program? And um, do you think that they're warming up to the idea because I know at this generation it's kind of hard to bridge that gap between the generations. Well, the, I think the students receive it, receive it quite well. Um, you're, certainly there is issues of what is this all about? Why are some older people sitting at a table, you know, every day, you know, greeting people as they come in? Um, as time goes on, they, they, I think they've they warmed up more and more. Uh, as I, I walk through, and one of my big jobs is to patrol the hallways, I see more and more people stopping by, say hello, and developing the closer relationships with our, with our greeters. Uh, it's a great opportunity for the students to talk about what they're doing in school and share it with people from the outside. Great. Karen, we're going to go to you. What made you decide that you wanted to become part of this program? Uh, well, I, I, I'm a retired nurse and I did a lot of pediatrics, but I also um, taught school in vocational educational programs and so I, I, unlike a lot of people who don't necessarily like adolescents, I like adolescents. Um, I think they're a great group uh, and I think, you know, I think if you show an interest in kids, they show an interest back. And do you think that the kids here have been receptive to you? Has it been a hard bridge to gap there um, between you? The, the orientation piece was great. The students that took us around were great answering the questions and everything. But um, I think because we're so we're such a new entity that some kids at first, like, you know, what is this about, as we alluded to, and, um, you know, what are we doing here? But little by little, more kids recognize that they've seen you in other weeks and they start to say hello and engage a little bit more. So. Great, thank you. Now Hampton, what brought you into um, the program? Well, I've always been interested in the young people. Uh, back a while ago, we had an opportunity to play games at the Loa School with the young people. And that was a lot of fun. And since we've been up here, uh, the children have been great. They've been very warm. We've had a lot of fun talking with some of them, sharing, uh, kidding around in a nice sort of way. Uh, they're just a, actually, they're just a, a joy to be around. The warmth that I feel is great. Great. Now, can any of you tell me do you see any problems with the program or how the program could be enhanced for next year? Well, well I would like to see us doing some more um, I, projects maybe with them, like if there's something that the office can, you know, use help with. Um, I don't know how that plays into sure. what the future plans are, mm -hmm. but I'd like to be a little bit more engaged or, um, you know, even if maybe students are working on like, a research project and they'd like 
you know, some individual help or something like that. I'd like to be engaged with the students a little bit more. Okay. I think that's a great idea. Um, again, you know, when we started this program in, in, in February, we had a couple of breaks. Um, I've been kind of the initiator and leader on it, and I've been out of work in and out for the last couple of weeks with you know, my surgery and stuff. So what, what, we, uh, what we, are, we do envision is as the, the teachers are more comfortable when they have a student in their class that needs some supports, reading supports, uh, maybe small group work, one-on-one um, -on -one activities, we would like to, to, to kind of move this program, still here in the middle of the, of the hallway, but do that engagement with, with uh, more academic engagement. That's certainly something we like. Hampton, what about you? Do you, do you see any problems or where you would like to see it expanding? I don't really envision any problems. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity and I think the, the focus should be as to what the administration feels that they could use assistance with the young people. I think it would be an excellent opportunity to participate with the young people in varying oh projects. God, so I know a while back they were talking about what? us uh, helping out in the library. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to work anywhere that the administration needs. So you feel as though this has been a positive experience Definitely. for everybody, right? Will you be back next year? Yeah, sure. Okay. Great to hear that. Great. And David, I know that you had talked about um, through the intergenerational um, program of getting some teachers into the class, uh, getting some assistance into the classrooms and right. reading. Has that started yet? We haven't. Uh, we had a couple good ideas that, that, that kind of sputtered. Um, one of the issues we have, of course, is to what degree and where does this fit into the curriculum? And um, we need, as what I envision, as, as teachers get more comfortable with the, the, the people here and, and recognizing that some of our seniors here have, have, have backgrounds in education and they know what they're doing. You know, as soon as that, you know, that I, I could see that what was going to take hold is that pull to the classroom, that pull to, to help out actual you know, working with curriculum, working with reading, one on one and writing. That type of stuff. It's gonna. It might take a couple, a little bit longer to, to take hold. But I would think that as the relationships build and the trust builds, I think that it's gonna be a, be a good place so for us to grow. The program is here to stay, is what you're telling me. I would me. like to hope. I would hope so. I would hope so. Good. Uh, and it's it's great to have people here. You know, I, I, as an administrator. Um, more adults in the hallways, more adults overlooking the kids, engaging with the kids in positive ways. That's what we're looking for. That's that's what our, our, our intent is. Um, having volunteers, you know, they're invaluable. I mean, these are people that come in and volunteer their time and service to the community um, and making connections with our young people. It's, it's, a, it's a great, great program. Have you run into any problems with any of the kids um, with the intergenerational greeters being here? I, I hope not. I, I hope they would bring it to my attention. Uh, uh, we uh, in West Boylston, uh, you know, we, have a, we have a small school here. You know, uh, it's you know 500 kids. Um, we know, all know each other. Uh, and what I do recognize with this community is that people respect each other and respect each other highly. Um, and they know what's a, they know what's expected out of them. Um, so if, if a, a student is disrespectful towards anyone who sits at this table, I certainly hope that I can be pulled into it. Never and, seen it. And you've no. never seen it. It's not to say that we don't have disrespectful students. I'm, sort of, you know, I'm glad to hear that, 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 that it doesn't happen here at this table. Okay. No, they've been, the kids have been great. I think, I'm, I'm amazed at how, well, if, right now, if you think about it, how quiet the building is, there's not a lot of disturbance. It's definitely, a, in my opinion, as an educator, it's a, definitely a educational environment. The, in, the kids grow, and if you look around, you were probably seeing people hanging things. So the art, their artwork is displayed. I think it's, I think West Boylston as a school, they can be proud of. So, Karen, you and Hampton feel as though not only are you giving to this program, but you're also getting something out of this Definitely. yourselves? I'd just like to add something. 
I think it's nice when you see the young people going through the corridor, even whether they're coming from lunch or going to lunch, the friendship, the warmth between each other, the warmth that they also show us. I think part of the reason I came here as a volunteer was a couple of years ago, I had an opportunity to work with Keith, who was one of the maintenance staff, cleaning up this facility and seeing what's involved, uh, seeing the, the classes, getting an opportunity to meet some of the teachers uh, when they were getting ready to leave for the summer. And I really enjoyed that. I felt as though I was part of the community and I was giving something back, uh, which has been something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Well, and it's been a privilege. Thank you all for your participation. And every time I come up here, everybody, the greeters, the assistant principal, and even the, the kids, everybody has a smile on their face. Oh, cool. So it, it really, yeah. it feels like a, it feels like a, um, a warm environment. It's um, a thriving environment. It is. My children grew up in this school, so it's nice to see, to come back and start to see things progress a little bit with this next coming generation. Thank you all for taking the time today. Thank um, you. you all look—you look all look wonderful, <laughs> and have a great day.